Well, somebody uh, asked me to make a cornhole game, so I did my best at it. Here we go. So I took a piece of uh, half-inch plywood, the hardwood oak. It's real smooth. Um, I cut it 24 by 48, put a 6-inch hole in the center with a jigsaw, and I uh, routed the edges of everything and smoothed it out with a belt sander once I nailed everything and glued it together here. Beveled both sides of the edges on the hole. I took and um, cut some strips three and a half also and put them in the middle for support. For the legs, I just ripped a two by four in half and put a carriage bolt through the side with a washer on this side and a washer on this side so she's nice and smooth. A little trick to doing this, whenever you do this, set it up on a table, put a bucket underneath it, hang the leg over the side of the bench, measure get your height right, and then mark it. Here, I'll kind of show you how I did that. Alright, so what I did here is I set it up on the table on a bucket, and I got my 12 inches from the countertop to the corner edge right there. Lay a board like this. Then you kick the leg out, get your measurement right. Once you get your measurement right, you can just make a mark on the bottom of the board there to know where to cut it, and you'll get the right angle also. And it's that simple. Do the same thing for the other side, and you got perfect 12 inches at one end. And since we ripped the sides three and a half, and it was half inch plywood, we got four inches off the ground on that end. So, yeah, there you go, cornhole game. So yeah, I guess the trick when building one of these, um, you can't use enough nails and you can't use enough glue. Actually you can, you don't want the glue to come out on this side because it will screw up the paint job. Um, but yeah, so cornhole game guys, gotta leave your mark. Um, I'll never see this one again, I built it for a friend. So yeah, there you go. Oh, okay.